role of women, that is one of the huge significant differences that actually ends up changing North America in particular. There was a big difference between everybody that came before. If young men come to a place like Jamestown, what are they trying to do if they don't bring women? They're trying to collect money to go back to live to where their community was. If you bring women, what are you trying to do? You're trying to create a new community. And so it's fundamentally a different view when they come over here. And the difference of view is because they brought women with them. Because when you bring women over, you are actually creating a community rather than just going someplace to, to accumulate wealth. The reality is this colony had such a huge influence because the people who came later didn't just come to be for a few years, make money and go back. You go to a place like Nigeria. In Nigeria, the English would go to make money. They weren't trying to colonize it. You go to India, they were just trying to make money. They weren't trying to colonize it. People would go over there for three or four years, they'd make a lot of money, they'd go back and live in England. In this colony, by coming over here, America becomes a very different colony than the other places in the world that England colonizes, and France and other nations. If you create a colony that's just men, it doesn't have any future. And so the, you know, the, even the equal rights movement now where they're saying that men and women are the same, no, men and women will never be the same because women can give birth. And so women inherently are associated with community, with continuity, while men are not. So 19 women left and they had the highest percentage of you know, if you do the men, if you do the children, if you do the women, the women by far died more coming over and in that first winter, or not coming over, but in that first winter. 19 came over and all but five died. And then one more died before the harvest time the next year. So by a year after they landed, there were only four women that originally came over. And two of those, 19 were pregnant. Can you imagine that, getting on a ship where you're going on a voyage and you know, one was born in the ocean, one was born shortly after they got here. Can you imagine that? So when we think of the bravery of the men, we should never think that the bravery of the women is any less. The faith that it required to leave Leiden for the men was no different than the faith that was required for the women to leave Leiden because they were risking everything just like the men were. If you look at these families, a lot of them are mixed families. You have William Bruce, or excuse me, William Bradford and his wife. They have to leave their son back. They don't think he can make the voyage. You look at Brewster. Brewster's bringing two children from other families. So even though there's only seven children under the age of 13, some of them are traveling without their parents to come over here. Think about how much they were risking. Think about how much they were saying that they wanted to build a community here and what they were willing to sacrifice to do it. It's pretty remarkable. When the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you, they're saying this is the best thing for God's kingdom. So they're willing to send their children. They're willing to leave their children back. They're willing to, to leave their wives in some cases. I mean, there's all kinds of conditions because of health, because of other reasons and they don't know when they'll be joined back together. And they're willing to do it because they say it's important, it matters. And we live in a, a nation, in a, an age where everybody's saying nothing really matters. And think about what they accomplished compared to what we accomplish as a people. Christians have to say things matter. They have to, that's how the world changes. And not by having 20 million people say that things matter. 50, 56 after the first year. They said things matter and the world changes. And just when we think about the women and the, the men that came over, the estimate is they have 35 million descendants across the world. About 10 million of them are still living in America after 400 years. And you think of Rebecca leaving where where she's, you'll be the mother of thousands of ten thousands. And that's how God blessed them. They were the mothers of thousands of ten thousands. And they created a community.
that never would have happened except for the women to come. So when you think of women's roles, women's roles really matter. They are equal. They're different. The man is the, man is, the husband is the head of the wife, but it doesn't mean that in the eyes of God they're not equally important. They're equally important. That's how you have community. That's how you have continuity. That's how you train the next generation. That's how you change the world. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.